Hi, this is Bob at Avion. Today we're going to do a demonstration of our HSK28 extruder. Uh, what I've got here that we're welding today is a snow sled that has a crack in it. You can see that. Uh, it's a very thin plastic. Um, not going to be able to put a groove or a chamfer in it. I'm just going to do a flat butt weld on it. Um, see this we've got a little debris in the area of the weld that I'm going to need to clean out so that's going to be my first step is we're going to clean that actually clean both sides um, to make sure that the weld area is clean um, just before I get started on that I'm going to turn this on get it set to the right temperature I know that uh, the sled here is uh, HDPE so I've got my Likewise, HDPE rod that I'm ready with. Um, we need to warm up the extruder, and for HDPE, the setting is going to be 220C or 430 Fahrenheit. So I'm going to turn it on. It's going to be a little loud. We're going to set it both the barrel. There's two settings on here, two timers. We're going to set the barrel to the right temperature, and we're going to set the preheater to the right temperature. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on now. Okay, we've got it plugged in now. If you look at the temperature readings, we've got a setting here. This is our 220 that I mentioned. That's 220C. So it's heating up right now. This one's only at 16, so I'm going to set it. Get it up there. One's the barrel, one's the preheater. And at this point, I want them both to be equal. And sometimes you may want the preheater to be higher or lower, depending on what you're doing. So now it's set to 220 on both, and we're going to let it heat up. Um, one thing I want to mention, uh, this unit will come with a standard square block. This is a Teflon block, or what we call a tip or a shoe. Um, it can be machined so that it guides the flow of the of the plastic. This one, for example, is what we call our V uh, machined groove. So if I had a V groove on a butt weld, maybe a thicker piece of plastic, and I put a chamfer in it, and I wanted this little piece to go into that and guide the flow of the plastic through that, that's, that's what a machined block would look like. So when we're ready, we can turn on now the blower. and get that going. You see that the temperature had stopped warming up and now it'll start again with the, that the blower is on. So while that's warming up, I'm going to come back here because I do have some debris in my weld area and I'm going to use my scraper wire brush and uh, clean this off and get it ready to weld. Okay, we're back. So. Uh, if you look at our temperature readings, we're now up to temperature. And um, we have our speed control down here that I've set uh, just under halfway. Uh, we don't need to go real fast on this piece right here. And uh, I'm going to start feeding my rod in. And then we'll take it over and start the weld. Purging out the previous material, as you can see, that's clear material there. When we see blue start to come out of there, like it is now, then we know we're ready to weld. Now, when I do this weld, this is my preheater. So I'm going to lead the weld with the preheater so that I'm heating the base material before it meets the other material.
All right, so thank you for joining us. We finished our welds. Um, and we're gonna unplug the machine and let that cool down. Um, this is where the stand is very handy. You've got a place for this to sit and cool down and then we can put it away. So again, HSK28, thank you for joining us. If you have any questions, give us a call at Avion or go to avion.com. Thank you.